Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. The Dutchman's Wives is a logic puzzle that dates back to the Lady's Diary in 1740. Please excuse any pronunciations I have for the names. Each of three Dutchmen named Henrik, Elas, and Cornelius has a wife. The three wives have names Gertrude, Catherine, and Anna, but not necessarily matching the husband's names in that order. All six go to the market to buy hogs. Each person buys as many hogs as he or she pays dollars for one. That means if you buy one hog, it costs $1. If you buy two hogs, each of the two hogs is $2. If you buy three hogs, each of the three hogs costs $3, and so on. In the end, each husband has spent $63 more than his wife. Henrik buys 23 more hogs than Catherun, and Elos 11 more than Gertrude. Now, what is the name of each man's wife? I thank Utsov for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's solve the problem step by step. The three husbands are Henrik, Elas, and Cornelius, and the three wives are Gertrude, Catherine, and Anna. We'll note these down. Now all six go to the market to buy hogs, and each person buys as many hogs as he or she pays dollars for one. So suppose someone pays and buys X number of hogs. Each of the X hogs will cost X dollars per hog. So, the total amount spent will be the number of hogs multiplied by the price per hog, so we have x multiplied by x, which equals x squared, and that's the amount spent. Since presumably the number of hogs is a whole number, each person is spending a perfect square number of dollars. So let's suppose some husband has bought x hogs, and his wife has bought y hogs. The wife will have paid y dollars per hog, so the wife will have spent y multiplied by y, which equals y squared. Now we know that the husband has spent $63 more than the wife, so we'll set up an equation for this, and that will be x squared minus y squared is equal to 63. Then Henrik buys 23 more hogs than Catherine, and Elos 11 more than Gertrude. We'll work on this clue later. So let's go back to this equation. Let's see what we can figure out from x squared minus y squared is equal to 63. We have a difference of squares, so we can factor this. This is factored as x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This is equal to 63. So let's imagine we are factoring 63 into two factors. We have x plus y and x minus y x plus y will of course be greater than x minus y because x and y are positive whole numbers. So how many ways can we break part 63 into two pairs where the first factor is larger than the second factor? Well, working out the possibilities, there are three different ways we can do this. 63 is equal to 63 multiplied by one, it's equal to 21 multiplied by three, and it's equal to nine multiplied by seven. So let's work on each case. Let's suppose x plus y is equal to 63 and x minus y is equal to 1. So we have two different equations. Let's solve for x and y. Notice if we add the two equations, we can eliminate the y term. So we get 2x is equal to 64. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 gives that x is equal to 32. We can then substitute back into the equation x minus y is equal to 1. So we have 32 minus y is equal to 1, and that means y is equal to 31. So one possibility is that x and y are equal to 32 and 31. But that's not the only possibility. Let's say we take x plus y to be equal to 21 and x minus y to be equal to 3. So we have another system of equations. Again, if we add the two equations, we can eliminate the y variable. 
So we get 2x is equal to 24, and that means x is equal to 12. Substituting back, we get that 12 minus y is equal to 3, so y is equal to 9. This gives another pair that x comma y is equal to 12 comma 9. But we have one more possibility. Let's take x plus y to be equal to 9 and x minus y to be equal to 7. Again, in this system of equations, we add the two equations to eliminate the y variable. So 2x is equal to 16, x is equal to 8. Then we substitute back into x minus y is equal to 7. So we have 8 minus y is equal to 7. So y is equal to 1. This gives a third pair where x comma y is equal to 8 comma 1. So we know the amounts that each husband and wife pair have bought. So how do we now match up the husband's names to the wife's names? Well, in the end, each husband has spent $63 more than the wife. So let's just verify. We have 32 squared minus 31 squared is 63. 12 squared minus 9 squared is equal to 63. And 8 squared minus 1 squared is equal to 63. So take each of these pairs as a pair of husband and wife. We are then given the clue that Henrik buys 23 more hogs than Catherine. Now each husband has spent more than the wife, so each husband has bought more hogs than the wife. So the possibilities for the husbands will be the first number. It'll be the larger number of the pair. So it could either be 32, 12, or 8. So Henrik buys 23 hogs more than Catherine. So 12 and 8 are too small. The only possibility will be 32 minus 23, which equals 9. So we must have that Henrik has bought 32 hogs and Catherine has bought 9 hogs. We have another clue that Elos has bought 11 more than Gertrude. So 32 is already taken and 8 is too small. So we must have 12 minus 11 is equal to 1. So Elos has bought 12 hogs and Gertrude has bought 1 hog. This leaves the final pair, which must be the remaining two numbers, that Cornelius has bought eight hogs and Anna has bought 31 hogs. So we now just match up these numbers to the couples of hogs. So the first pair will be 32 and 31, and this is the married couple that Henrik is married to Anna. Then we have 12 and 9, so we look up how many hogs each person has bought, and this means that Elos is married to Catherine. The final pair will be 8, 1, and that means Cornelius is married to Gertrude. And that's the answer to this incredible puzzle. Now, I just want to illustrate another way you could have solved the puzzle instead of using the difference of squares formula. So let's go back to this step where we know that each husband has spent $63 more than his wife. So let's say x is the number of hogs purchased by the wife, which means x plus n will be the number of hogs purchased by the husband. It will be more than the wife. So the amount spent by the wife will be x squared, and the amount spent by the husband will be x plus n hogs multiplied by a price of x plus n per hog. So this will be the square of x plus n. So each husband has spent $63 more than his wife, so the square of x plus n minus x squared will be equal to 63. We will expand the binomial to get x squared plus 2xn plus n squared minus x squared is equal to 63. The x squared terms will cancel out. This leaves n squared plus 2xn is equal to 63. Subtract n squared from both sides and then divide both sides of the equation by 2n. This gives x is equal to 63 minus n squared all over 2n. So let's just analyze this equation. We can just use regular guess and check. Let's just give a value for n, like n is equal to one. Substituting in, we get that x equals 63 minus one all over two, so x is equal to 31. This means that x plus n will be equal to 31 plus one, which equals 32, and this gives one solution. Now, if you put n equals two, you won't get a whole number value for x, so then you can try n equals 3. Then x is equal to 63 minus 9 all over 6, which equals 9. So this gives another possibility.
that x is equal to 9 and x plus n equals 9 plus 3, which equals 12. You can just keep checking the possibilities for n, then you get to n is equal to 7, so that x is equal to 63 minus 49 all over 14, and x is equal to 1, and finally x plus n is equal to 8. So we have the pairs 32, 31, 12, 9, and 8, 1, just as before. So we could proceed and solve for each of the married couples. Just as before, we take these couples and we know that these will have a difference of squares that are equal to 63. The larger number will be the amount that the husband has spent. So Henrik buys 23 hogs more than Catherun. We know that the possibilities are 32, 12, and 8. We take 32 minus 23, which equals 9. So Henrik is 32 and Catherun is 9. Then Elos is 11 more than Gertrude. The only possibility will be 12 minus 11, which equals 1. So Elos is equal to 12, Gertrude is equal to 1. And finally, that means Cornelius is equal to 8 and Anna is equal to 31. So just as before, we match up the number of hogs that each person had bought to the couples that are the married couples. So we have 32, 31, which means Henrik is married to Anna. Then we have 12, 9, which means Elos is married to Catherine. And finally, 8, 1 means that Cornelius is married to Gertrude. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.